Hello, everyone. My name is Olga. I represent the Elder Office Training Department. And today we continue with Only Office Docs, and I will be happy to tell you about secure document management. Today, many users are concerned about the security of their data, especially when it comes to uh, working with sensitive data in the documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and forms. So I would even say that this issue is one of the highest priority for every company, because in the age of electronic growth and social engineering, we're all vulnerable. And unauthorized access to our internal IT structure, unlawful acquisition of confidential information, and uh, changes to databases can cause significant damage to every company. So only Opus was designed for businesses uh, carrying out sensitive communication and requires that the compromise could uh, in some way endanger customers and uh, internal operations. Our range of solution keeps your services uh, and all assigned data within your physical perimeter. So we put hardware protection in your hand, allowing you to maintain stability and connectivity as your business standards demand. So you can install your solution uh, in your own server. And in this case, you, only you will fully control uh, access to the data of the individuals. In only office, the source code is open for everyone to examine it. So if you can understand how it works in the background. And you can study the code yourself, have someone to do it for you, just to, to make sure that there is no back doors. Uh, this is our GitHub. Let's discover some additional protection uh, parameters, technologies for our document editors in general. To prevent an unauthorized access uh, to the document, a substitution of uh, important parameters in all the Office uh, document server, uh, it uses a JSON web token. So the token assigned by the server key, so the client is able to verify uh, if the token is legitimate. Uh, if the token is invalid, the command is not executed and no parameters are used or changed. Only offer, uh, Office offers additional protection of confidential files with private room. It's a space where you can uh, store, edit sh and share your document with always encrypted mode. So private room is available in the server solution and can be reached through desktop editors. In private room, each document is uh, automatically encrypted with randomly generated AES-256 keys that are shared with authorized users by the means of asymmetric encryption. Files that are created, stored, and shared with, within the private room never leave the directory and they cannot be recopied, so redistributed, or decrypted. On this slide, you can see what you can, what you can do um, in the private room. So document encryption and decryption and is performed strictly on the user's device end-to-end. -end. And what's more, private room don't require any extra elements or additional re registration to create a new encryption entity. So using this feature, you get the same a seamless experience you are used to, no extra moves whatsoever, just log in and start working out right away. In fact, there is no difference between casually editing and collaborating on your documents and working in an encrypted mode. As for other workspace additional protection feature, um, only Office allows you to encrypt your traffic using HTTPS protocol, whether you already possess an SSL certificate or not. In most cases, accessing the uh, portal via HTTPS is much, much more secure than via HTTP, which is used by default. Uh, you can protect data at rest against breaches and ensure HIPAA compliance of the team's services. The encrypt data at rest uh, feature provided by the control panel allows you to ensure the security of sensitive data of portal. Uh, by choosing the single sign-on, of the, the classic authentication, you prevent anyone from keeping your login detail, providing them to one of the trust global authentication services. And the next thing you can do for your safety is to protect the login procedure on your portal with dynamic passcodes sent uh, via mobile text messages. So the classified data stored in your cloud or server facilities can be easily accessed if uh, your users mishandle their personal passwords. Do not risk it. Uh, used to factor authentication. 
In addition, it's possible to enable to factor authentication by a code generation app, for example, Google Authenticator. <clears throat> Only Office editors work on the client moving most of the data load to the individual user's browser. This approach allows you to create a flexible range of document permission types, which includes both uh, full access and view uh, only permissions and also permissions for exclusively commenting or reviewing. To set up the access level, select uh, the share button, click on the share button, and you will see all uh, available permission. We have full access, review, comment, read only, and deny access. You can adjust access rights right from the editor you click on the button in the right uh, corner and then you select the level that suits you best it should also be mentioned that starting from the version 12 of only office workspace uh, we are new two new options in advanced settings now you are able to choose can't print downloads and copy files for read only and comment modes and can change sharing settings for full access users. To keep a document safe from other people and to protect its copyright, you can add a watermark. The watermark appears as a lettering to indicate the document status, for example, if it's confidential or if it's draft, et cetera, or an image, for example, the logo of your company behind the main text layer. To edit, you should open um, the layout at top watermark test the watermark i already added a logo of our company so do you think the document looks much more secure i think it is now what is the first thing that jumps to your mind when it comes to protection whether it's social media page uh, the file folder or document Right, it's a password you can protect any types of document with password manually to make sure no one can access uh, the files without receiving a password from you. To protect the whole document, spreadsheet, presentation, or form with a password, you can do it in our online editors as well as in our desktop editors. <clears throat> click on the File tab, then click the Protect button. And here you can add a password, for example, I password, and the document is protected. But please note, if the password, if you lose or forget the password, there is no recovery features. So I suggest you keep it in a safe place. Let's now talk more in detail about the spreadsheet protection because they typically contain a lot of confidential individual company data, such as financial statements, price lists, password details, and so on and so forth. In addition to protecting the whole document spreadsheet, you can also protect Excel workbooks and separate sheets with passwords. Please note that this feature is available starting from the version 7.0 on the Office Docs. So now it's a good time to check your version and to update it if needed. When protecting the workbook structure, they prevent other users from viewing hidden worksheets, adding, moving, deleting, and renaming sheets. While if the whole book is protected, the whole file is protected, you will not even be able to open it and, of course, to edit it. To do it, switch to the Protection tab, then add Protect Workbook. We add a password. So when the book is protected, I'm not able to add some new sheets. I can't rename it, copy it, delete it. I can also, I can only protect it. And um, the same way you can protect sheets uh, with password, click the protect sheet option. And you will see the protect sheet on a window will be opened. And you can limit editing entirely or partially. For example, you can allow users to format cells, format rows, and click the protect button. To unprotect the sheet, click the protect button, which is already highlighted. If you enable worksheet protection, cells, shapes, and text inside shapes are locked uh, in the sheet by default. To allow other users to edit this object, then the sheet is protected. Uncheck the corresponding uh, 
boxes in the protection tab. So here you can shape locked or text low, and then you click on the protect sheet and you, can, you, you will be able to edit the shape. Um, besides, you can specify a range of cells in the protected sheet a user can work with. Click the allow ranges, edit ranges, then click the new button. Here you can uh, enter the title, for example, press it to be test, and then select a range of cells. For example, it will be countries. Okay. And the password is optional in this case. I will add the password. Okay. And uh, if you click the protection button, the protect sheet window will appear for you. To select the operations where a user will be allowed to perform in order to prevent an unwanted, any unwanted changes. Enter and confirm a password. And then click the protect button. Uh, when a sheet is not protected, you can still make changes to the allowed ranges. Click the allow edit ranges button. Uh, protect it. Allow edit ranges button. And here you can also edit these ranges or you can delete it if you don't need it anymore. Then click the OK button. Uh, if your spreadsheet contains formula you don't want to, you do not want to share with other users, our spreadsheet is a, again ideal for you because you can protect them too. To do that, proceed to the protection tab. Here you can click on the hidden formula box to hide formula in the selected range of cells when the sheet is protected. So my colleague now will protect uh, the sheet and the formula you don't see the formula in the formula bar imagine the table is finished protected and shared with you how you are going to open it i add a password and then i will try to open it and every time uh, you enter uh, you open the sheet for editing, you need to enter the passcode. So you won't be able to access the file without the password. If you want to create a new password on a longer need encryption for a specific file, you can uh, easily change it or delete it. There are two ways to do it. You can do it in the file tab, protect. Here you can change the password or delete it. And you can also do it in the protection tab by the by clicking on the encrypt button change password or delete it and if the excel 6 file contains important data so i remind you that it's strongly recommended to save the password using any appropriate manager service or even better train your memory because as i mentioned before there is no recovery feature and if you'd like to learn uh, more about other features that uh, can help you working safely in the documents, spreadsheet, presentation, and forms. We can offer you our training courses. To learn more, you just need to go on our website when click on About button, Training Courses. After that, you select the course you are interested in, and you can submit a request. And we will be happy uh, to, to tell you more in detail about our training process. Now, I think it's uh, time to finish our webinar. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer it. You can leave it in the chat. Uh, the first question is, um, Hi, thanks for the, the webinar. I've got a thing to clarify. Is it possible to unprotect a uh, document with dig digital uh, signature? Uh, yeah, for now, it's, this feature is available for our desktop editors. You can visit our help center to learn more uh, because we have uh, an article related to this topic. So it's possible in our desktop editors.
while waiting already. Oh, I always four questions. And the next question is, uh, can you tell me if the password set in the only office editor will work in Excel? Yes, the passwords are protected, uh, document remains protected in Excel editors as well. So you can, for example, password protect uh, spreadsheet in our online editors and then try to open it in Excel, uh, Excel editors and so the application will ask for the password. So yes, it works in Excel too. Is there any other questions? I think there is no, no more question for a while. But you can always um, uh, you can always send uh, all your questions in the chat in the comments, and we will be happy to answer them later. So thank you for your attention. Thank you for being with Only Office. Um, we hope you like it. Have a good day.